There's Cinema. one movie. Uh-huh. First of all, I asked you guys earlier if you guys watched the movie Sound of Freedom. Mm. Mm. And you guys all said no. Negative. I didn't watch Negative. it. Negative. But yeah, My Lord Jerry didn't see it. Have you guys heard about it? Yep. yep. Sound of Freedom. Sound like my niggas. My niggas trying to <laughs> trying to free themselves from the plantation. <laughs> nah, it's not about that. But okay, it's, okay. it's still like something okay. like that. It's very close to people. But there hasn't been no trailers. This movie came out on the 4th of July. I didn't even know until last week that the movie came Wait, out. Wait, no trailers? Because mm. it wasn't a movie yeah, like no that. Movie. It was like an underground like a, like a joint. Documentary? But there's a reason why it was an underground joint. Uh. So pretty much The Sound of Freedom, it's a movie about... like um, What's it about? It's based on a true story. It's this guy, who, he used to work for, like, the CIA or, like, the government, and his job was to catch pedophiles. Ooh. But um, as he was catching yeah. pedophiles, he was working with this guy, like, his partner, and his partner's like, hey, so, like, you're catching all these pedophiles, but do you ever find the kids? Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, so then he, like, he's, like, you know, he's, like, mental issues. He's like, yo, this is a fucking stressful-ass job. Like, because after he catches the pedophiles, he has to pretty much – Watch what they were doing because a lot, of, a lot of it was like if they upload it or they're sending videos to Damn. people. Shit. So he has to watch it to like confirm. So like he fucks with his mental, and you know, doing a job like that, you want to go like and save kids. So yeah, what he did hundred percent. Um, he when he catches a pet. So I'll, I'll give you a quick breakdown of the movie. I don't want to spoil it for everybody, mm-hmm. but I feel like everyone should watch it. Mm-hmm. It's the main reason why everyone should watch Mando. it because first of all, it gives you light to like like. What's going on in the world with, like, sex traffickers and uh-huh. shit. Mm. Um, but pretty much he helps, um, finds this kid, but the kid's like, hey, they still have my sister. Mm. So he, like, but the job wouldn't pay for him to go out of the country and find the kid. Mm. So, like, he pretty much quit, and he did it on his own. Mm. And he saved, like, all these, like, um, kids. these kids. And it's pretty much showing, like, how like how it goes on. It's like these, like, these, like, rich people. That um, pretty much pay for kids to come to Sex Island. I don't know if you guys are aware of Jeffrey Epstein, but mm-hmm. like some Jeffrey Epstein. I've heard of that shit. So that was that's pretty crazy much what shit. it is. Um, and then he goes and like rescues the kids. It's 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 it's, it's a hard movie to watch. Though, I will say it's a fucking yeah. hard movie to watch. That's crazy. But you guys got to see it. And the only reason why I bring it up is because what's crazy is that so the movie was made five years ago, mm. and the mo- the company that made it was Century Fox. Like uh-huh. Fox. Um, 20th Century Fox. That shit was like the mixtapes of Fox. Yeah, but what happened was is that Disney bought out Fox so they can get like all those like Marvel movies and shit. Mm. So it was like archived, but Disney didn't want to release that movie. Damn. So the, the company that bought it, Angel Studios, they bought it from Disney mm. and then they released it right away. Um, but it's like a like a low budget company, so they couldn't promote the movie that well. That's why you didn't see any trailers of it. Mm-hmm. You didn't see anything of it. So it was just able to be out in yeah. the movie theaters. Uh-huh. But what I think is, this is why I think it's like important to talk about and why I think it's crazy is because like you see no celebrities mm. promoting this movie. Mm. You course. see mainstream media actually shitting on the movie, mm. which I like, I don't, I don't get why. Because they fuck with that funny shit. Yeah. They fuck with that funny shit. That's, and I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but like what's crazy so is that, that CNN Fuck. was like, don't watch this movie. This movie is like about like, like they oh, were trying to relate it to like you know how there's like uh, conspiracy theories that they like kill kids and they drink their blood and shit like that. Mm. Probably that do. movie literally does not. I forgot what it's called. It's like a, it's like Keenan shit or Keen or whatever. It's like a conspiracy theory that they sacrifice kids. Um, yeah, the rich do that and they drink their blood or whatever. Mm. They were saying, oh, this movie promotes conspiracy theories and shit like that. CNN did this. Did cons- mm. It supports like um, this movie. This movie like supports conspiracy. Like if you like this movie or you watch this movie, you're supporting like uh, right wing uh, conspiracy theory. <laughs> but not once in that movie does it ever mention like sacrificing the kids or drinking their blood. It's literally a movie about sex trafficking. Yeah, mm. like gotcha. it's about like. Him saving kids And it's based on A true story That's what's even crazier Yeah, yeah. So I'm like It's five dollars so, Tuesday tomorrow So what I gotta say is Yeah it's Big P here You dig um, I heard about the movie Probably the past two weeks First The homie Johnny Last Pepper Eyes What up mm-hmm. um, he, he That's me She's in LA He, um, he, he had texted me um, Sound of Breaking Right That's what it's called No Sound of Freedom Sound of Freedom He texted me that like, Hey oh. um, I'm trying to watch this movie like, at first, I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? Because of the sound of freedom? I also thought it was some, another, you know, extraction <laughs> joint. Like, what Will Smith did. Like, you know, slavery joint. 
So with, you know, I looked I looked it up because I went straight to. It. I was like, oh, reparations. I was, like, I was like, what this nigga talking about? I go on YouTube, I search it up, I see the trailer. And I'm like, oh, you want to watch? You want to? You want me to send you this this link for the the movie stream? I send his ass that. <laughs> He's like, yo, it's not um, it's not clear. It's not HD. Right. I go on. It's it's, Soap it's bootlegged. I sent him a bootleg. Soap today. Mm-hmm. Sound of freedom. Soap. And you know, I, I was like, my movies I, right there. so I was like, what are you talking about? Let me let me <laughs> solve this. So send me that, send me that. in that. I'm watching it because I'm watching like a little clip. I'm watching the beginning mm-hmm. because I'm over here trying to see if it's HD or not. Oh, okay. So I got a little point, but then I also go online and I see someone speaking about the movie and how it began, mm-hmm. and how it began gave that vibe already. It gave yeah. a, it gave a vibe where a guy, a father, has his kids. He drops them off somewhere. Mm-hmm. And he does, he he leaves him. I don't know where he leaves him at, but it was like a scouting agency for like models and movies and shit, like for kid actors. Yeah, and stuff. they and do that. He, he comes, comes back, back, and they're not there. Yeah, and that's Scary. how it be, that's how the movie begins. Dude, that movie is crazy, bro. Like, I I really yeah. recommend yeah. it. If you guys haven't seen that it, was the vibe. Watch that shit. What's even crazier is that like specifically AMC's. There's like this trend going on TikTok is that whenever that movie shows, mm. it just happens to like. Shut down, like oh, it doesn't like oh the movie like the movie's broken or the AC goes off or like it just goes. Hey, green I heard screen. that. I heard that. I heard um, somebody did post that like that. My up. their theater had no AC. It was super hot. Now you're yeah. shitting on theaters, man. No, but specifically nah, only real. AMC's. It's only it's AMC's. That. It's, it's like but, all over TikTok. You see it everywhere, and I'm. Just I like, go to Harkins. They Dave, got good ass Dave, fucking popcorn. But Dave, you gotta think about these. There's a lot of low budget movies. This movies is this net. It, is it on Netflix? No, it's only no, at movie theaters. It's only in movie and theaters. no, and another thing, no streaming services are set to pick it up. Amazon, Netflix, no, Hulu, no, no. none of these are set to pick. It's up still on bootleg on the stream. Damn. Yeah, so that's Just, another crazy thing. Um, and what's even not crazy. even on the website that pack up? My yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's well, on bootleg. Soap illegal, today. I watch that on yeah. bootleg. I think no, it's but, on soap today. No, but there's a lot of new it movies. Is? There's a and lot of for, new movies on HD. Right. And then for I tried watching it like on a fight or movie, dude. That movie's been sold out like. That it's joint even at it outsold somewhere. Indiana Jones, which is like a blockbuster, like Disney movie. It outsold it, and it only has like. It's not. It it's even not even the on promotion. the app. It's not even on the app of Cinemark. It's on my. Because oh. it came out the Fourth of July. It's been like two oh. weeks already. But um, yeah, I tried buying it, and it. then I I can only watch it like at eleven o'clock at night, which I did. And oh, you the thing is, at night, I love yeah. It. And then once I started watching, I was like locked in the whole time. Cause that movie starts off crazy and it ends crazy. And you're mm. So you like, watched uh, it. You watched the joint. Yeah. Okay. It's, 10 out of 10. Uh, that's it's, why he's telling us to watch it, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, cool. And 10 out of 10, it's a hard movie to watch, though, but fuck, like, that shit just informs Interesting. you. Interesting. I haven't watched Seven Pounds. Um, it's a billion dollar industry. Pursuit of Happiness yet. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't Sick see it ass there, but industry. I'm trying to go see yeah. what's up at the movie All theater. these grown hoes, you know, to fuck with some kids, man, yeah. get it together. It's a billion dollar industry in the yeah, USA. Huh? is like, the highest, pay, like, they pay the most. For like child pornography and like sex trafficking children from other countries, I was just it's fucking crazy, bro. Like, I, I was just talking about the subway guy. Like that was like the biggest shocking to the world. What subway guy? The subway guy. You remember the guy that got fat and then he started eating subway and he got he got oh Jared oh, like our, yeah, what what's his name Jared Jared like subway Jared. that was like, that's our child yeah right? oh yeah he got arrested yeah. for like at, at his Jeff, house he had like a, he had like a basement he did all that nasty shit Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, but they don't talk about him. But that he was literally but, had a sex island. That's what the movie shows. And the crazy thing is, it shows live footage of him actually doing it. Like when he was a uh, when he was like undercover. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna it's say it, but like, R. Kelly. Ouch! This hurts my ears. That's what I'm saying. It's hard. It's hard to listen and it's kids. hard to watch. And, and I got kids, you know, and that's just something that it's scary. Dude, I don't even leave. Don't even leave my side. Mm-hmm. Shout out to uh, Blake Lively and Ashton Kutcher though, because they're the only two celebrities that like talked about it. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, like oh, of course, I know Ashton Kutcher is really good at and Blake Lively. There's the only two that I've seen that actually come out and talk about like sex trafficking and shit. Like, what is he good at? It's Avery? just so sad, it's so fucking like sad. You know, they they connected with a lot of shit and they can't speak on shit. Yeah. They might not be fucking with it, but they just can't speak on shit because it's gonna fuck with their you know their livelihood. So. The the main actor is the one who have you guys ever seen the fuck. Passion of Christ? Oh my yeah. god, he's the that main movie? actor. You don't give a fuck, but when you when oh, you have no a spot, I don't give a fuck, but I'm gonna say what I want, nigga. Yeah. No, that movie, that movie, that that's shit. like setting I'm a target saying, on your back. You I'm know? Saying, that I don't to give a fuck too. because yeah. I'm gonna say what I want to say. So, but the main actor is really good. Like, and then the crazy thing, he has a message at the end of the movie. He's like, promote this movie, promote this movie because 
like big tech doesn't want you guys to watch this movie uh mainstream media he's just like he's like yo we got to get this out there like i was like damn that's fucking crazy like but let's be real we all watch the movie we all feel some type of way what the fuck can we do Besides we're talk, we're watch, talking about besides it right now. watch our motherfucking that's, You know kids. what? No. And that's my point, too. Sometimes when I see stuff like that on social media, it's like, what the fuck else can we do can to I help do? these people? Yeah. How? You know? And it's like, what, donating money? Like, what? but where does I that fucking money go? Too. Am I going to be... Can I trust them to send my money to actually go help those kids and help, you know, get them and, you we'll know. never know where that shit goes. And then well, what yeah. the fuck was up with that fucking law? Like, that they didn't pass that shit. They blocked that shit for us, uh, for fucking sex trafficking to even be a fucking felony. So with that new law, though? You heard about that's that what I, That's exactly the one. Nah, they I'm fucking blocked that. it. They blocked it because they didn't, they didn't um, approve it for, um, like I said, like for a fucking felony. Man, and then they said that a lot of shit, like you can do theft now, and you will go, and you yeah. will get in it, go in jail and leave out. They, they, they passed on the Stonewood. They That's passed LA. On the Stonewood. That's LA though. They passed on the Stonewood. Yeah, you seen that? Hey, you I seen, seen that? that? They broke in that joint. Like what? nothing, no security. So they came saying in. niggas can't. You go to jail. If so you go I suppose, to jail, yeah, I you'll get right out if it's just on. If you and I just nobody. found out that the employees can't you even like nobody. do shit. They have to like let you, let you be, rob them. That's interesting. Because I guess they against the law, they, they can't, like, defend the fucking jewelry and shit. Like, they can't fucking do shit about it. So they literally have to sit there or stand there and watch you fucking really ransack shit, the fucking place. Shit. It ain't that yeah, shit to do even, nothing about. Even if it was, like, to That's me. Because if I'm passing and a bitch get in my way, <laughs> she ain't going to be in my way no more. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Statue of limitation. You used to steal flannels from Hot Topic. You know, it, it's a really fucked Pat, up. You used to wear all those flannels. Really they didn't even have them in my size. <laughs> He's not lying. So I'm gonna take I used to Dave, have a hole in every flannel. Nigga. I'm gonna take Two Dave. I'm gonna take take Dave's word for it. I'm gonna go watch that movie. All you guys should watch, watch it. I just watch you, it together. you guys gotta watch I'm gonna watch it, it when it landlord comes Jerry, let's, have a watch let's have a movie day, guys. Let's have a movie day. Let's go watch the movie. I'm done. Even if you're watching this right back. now, you come guys got to come go back. Movie. Let's do a podcast again. Give our fucking reviews and see what's up. You done to watch it again? I'll it's gonna be it really hard for me to watch, honestly. But you know what? I am a mother of two, so you know, fuck, God forbid that ever fucking happens to I my kid because I will kill a motherfucker. Ugh. That's what I'm saying. What we can do. That's why I wanted to talk about it. Is because we can spread awareness. This clip. You never know who's gonna watch this clip. And then people could be aware, like, oh, damn, let me go see this movie. But you know what? Always keep an eye of your surroundings, for sure. Because, you know, there'd be crazy shit here in Downey, too. You'd be hearing things, and I'm like, damn. Not just Downey. It's everywhere. Everywhere everywhere. Everywhere you go. But, you know, that's our local city. Come on. And it's, like, everywhere. Like, you know, some shit just happened in Paramount, too. And I'm like, damn, I live down the street in Paramount. Like, whoa. You're saying anywhere. Like, anywhere. Just fucking be safe, you know? Everywhere. Stay dangerous. Stay fucking dangerous. Not just locals, everywhere. Fire on me. Get that pepper spray too. (laughs) Yeah, that pepper spray. (laughs) Pepper spray. (laughs) All right, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring the energy down to start off. But I did want to. I just wanted to talk about it with y'all. It's a good thing to bring up, you know. I just wanted to spread awareness. But the movie was really good. I'm a big so a ten ten. More than a 10. 10. 11 out of 10 for sure. For sure. It was a really good movie. Rotten Tomatoes is a piece of shit because they have it ranked low, but audience score is what like 90. They always rank the low. Rotten Tomatoes always like an 80. And I don't want to sound like a crazy conspiracy oh. theorist either, but this is like real shit. The fact that they try to Because like this is real it. life shit. Yeah. Um, it just shows what type of time they are. Yeah. What's hey. crazy is that even during like COVID, I remember they said more kids were like kidnapped than people died of COVID deaths. Like nah, shit, like that, and everything was shut down. Talking about it, shit's been going on for and a long time. You know how sometimes time, the guys. news brings up, like they rate the movies. They haven't brought up. Rating. My dad even mentioned it. Yeah, they. That's I'm crazy. You, there's no promotion. On this book. You know how like sometimes they were like, oh, the Red Box, they sold out. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. Like they, I don't know. Like I don't know if you've ever watched the news, but they, <laughs> the box office. Yeah. You know, like when I don't the know movie whatever. Comes it is. Out, they speak <laughs> on it. <laughs> but they be rating the fucking movies on the news, and goddamn, for, you know they don't haven't promoted this shit. And either. this was a low budget movie, and I think they like a hundred times extra money already. And I think they were going to use that money to like fund like I um mm. Mm. it's crazy, but yeah, it's a trip. It's just not it. in that. We'll that make a day where all of us go and watch it, and you guys word. can see for yourselves. Because that's a trip. I'm tomorrow, off Thursday, oh, Friday, tomorrow so I'm night. Off, I'm off tomorrow night. 
What's up? Wait up. Don't, don't it be going for the low? Or no, wait, what is it? Can we eat before? Can we eat before? Or yeah. after? Tomorrow? I'm going to Raging Waters tomorrow, but after I'll meet you guys up. Okay. We're going to yeah. be tired as fuck. Let's go. We're going to be tired. Oh, now you're not getting on the low. I'm being on the low. You down, Pat- Patricia? Tomorrow? What? You down for tomorrow? To watch the Sound of Freedom. Don't be like Oh, shit. I just remember it. I'm down. Fuck Shut that. up. Fuck that. Nah, I'm someone down. told me about to go to movies tonight. I was like, I didn't reply. And shit, I forgot. Sanchita, so tell her to go to tomorrow. Sanchita, tell her to go tomorrow. Tomorrow. Say, let's go watch Sound of Freedom, tomorrow, baby. Yeah, straight up. Vamos a la. All right, we're, we're going tomorrow. Fuck it. Yeah. It's still out? Stand on business. Yeah, it's still out. We should buy your tickets. Don't lie. Let's go. Hold on. <laughs> 